Hi guys, what's up? This is Rocky Days and welcome to my new tutorial. So, this tutorial talks about animation and yes, it is very simple animation. So, there is more to animation than what will be discussed in this video. So, let's get started. Let me play what I'm going to teach you today. Alright, so as you can see, our rectangle is moving here and there as well as its color is getting changed. So how do you do this? Quickly. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, before any of this, you need to create a script element and give it the usual address to the CDN link which provides us with the JavaScript of SVG and then create a division element give it an id called animation or anything of your choice after that create a variable called draw invoke the svg function and give it back the argument as uh, the same name as the id that you have created over there give the size of your choice you can give it as you wish and if at all you want the animation to run over a, la a large space then you can increase your size after that create a rectangle which is simple as we have learned before variable rectangle var rect is equal to draw dot rect 100 comma 200 so you can give it any size as you wish let let me change it to 100 comma 50 all right so as you can see we have a, we have a black rectangle over here after this you can directly go ahead and start animating what you need to do is just go ahead and invoke the animate function like this but do not pass any argument passing arguments will be dealt with in another video so we can pass arguments in this animate function but we are not going to do this in this video so animate function can take two or three arguments and we will deal with that in a different video but this video will deal with simple animations which i'll be showing over here so go ahead and uh, type out move over here you can give any coordinates for example 500 comma 400 let's see what happens Alright, so as you can see it has disappeared and let's change our coordinates a bit. Okay, so we are lucky this time it has stayed in this field. So as you can see as I run this code, we can see that the rectangle is directly starting to move from its original position to 300 comma 400. Similarly, you can change a lot of things like animate, let's say. Let's say opacity, we can change the opacity to around 4.4. So let's see what happens. Alright, so as you can see, after the moment has happened, its color has changed, uh, its opacity changed. So if I shift it here and there, you can see that the opacity changing happens before and the movement happens after. So it depends on the order of the commands that you're given. So it's, it's quite simple, guys. Finally, I'll tell you how to change the fill of the rectangle. So how you do it is you give an ATTR. Inside the ATTR, you change the fill to anything that you would like to give it. So let's say, oops, wait a second. We need to enclose this in quotes. Alright, let's do one thing. Let's change the opacity before we give another color so let's get it back to one so let's see what happens all right so you can see that our color is getting changed and if at all you want it to come back to the original position before the change happens you have to invoke the move command and give it 0.0, .0 again so let's see what happens so as you can see our color is changing after the moment is happening you can work around with other colors of your choice let's say 058 let's see what happens all right so it has been a wonderful ride so that's it guys this is a simple way how you can animate your elements your svg elements within no time so all you can see is that we have used rect.animate and we have not used any kind of arguments inside the animate function but we have worked around with opacity move so similarly you can use other functions so for example you can work around with x 
and Y command which is the same as moving command or as you can walk around with CX and CY commands which are which which moves the rectangle according to the center instead of moving it with the leftmost corner so what actually happens is that when we invoke the move function and give the coordinates the coordinates actually are the coordinates that the leftmost corner of the rectangle should sit at so when you give the 0 comma 0 you can see that it is coming back to the original position but that is not what happens when you give a rect dot animate and let's say cx 0 so let's see what happens So as you can see the center has moved to zero that means that the center of the rectangle is moving to zero so this is another way you can move your rectangle based on its center all right so this is how this is how you can tweak uh, the elements and work around with several things so we will cover other kinds of animations in the next videos so stay tuned for that thanks a lot for watching bye bye